hope you're doing well and I pray God's blessings are upon you today as you go out into the way and, and begin to share God with others as you work or travel. And uh, I pray today God will be with you every step of the way. I know he will. And uh, I want to talk to you today about sharing the word of God. Uh, in first in third John, uh, we talk, see, uh, John talks about a gentleman. His name, I'm going to say, is Gaius. And uh, the things that he did in his day to further the gospel. And I want to read uh, verses 5 through 8. It says, Beloved, you do faithfully whatever you do for the brethren and for strangers who have borne witness of your love before the church. If you send them forward on their journey in a manner worthy of God, you will do well. Because they went forth for his name's sake, taking nothing from the Gentiles, we therefore ought to receive such that we may become fellow workers for the truth. This gentleman, Gaius, was a man who offered hospitality uh, to preachers, evangelists, and uh, missionaries of his day. Uh, it's talk about, uh, talk about him providing a bed and maybe feed them and maybe even giving some monetary money, you know, if he had the ability to do so. And he paved the way for, in his day for the gospel to be spread. And if you look in these uh, verses here, uh, the word do uh, means a lot. It says uh, in verse 5, it said, you do faithfully whatever you do for the brethren. And, and uh, he talks about the things that he repeatedly did, not just once, once, one time and over with. He repeatedly, in these verses, continuously gave them the needs that they uh, took care of the needs they had to spread the gospel. And I believe today, uh, when evangelists come to our churches to re preach revivals, when missionaries come to our churches, uh, as they do from time to time, to raise money for them to be able to go back into the foreign countries and the foreign lands of our day to preach the gospel, that we need to do our part to help them to be able to do that. And I truly believe today that in doing so, uh, we're going to reap blessings of, from God for doing that. And and uh, what I mean by that, I truly believe when you give of money or provide needs that they may have to go back and preach the gospel, you have had a hand in the people that they win to the Lord by doing so. And I believe that when you get to heaven, you will get rewarded for that because we've had a hand in it. We've had a part of, of what they're doing we enable them to go. We help them meet the needs that they have to spread that gospel. So every time when we get an opportunity to do that, I believe we should do it to the best of our ability. That is another reason God blesses us, that we may give to those who have need, not only at home and in our churches and in our local communities, but also to help those who are going back out into the mission fields to spread the gospel. Not everybody can go do that. Our, uh, we need to really pray for these missionaries and these evangelists, these men and women that go out into these countries, sometimes into countries where they're not welcome and the gospel is not welcome. Maybe they have to go underground and have these underground churches that we read about from time to time in these other countries and, and put their life in danger so that these people may hear the gospel and hopefully be led to the Lord. And I would thank you today. We need to do our part in praying for them and in providing for them while not only while they're here back in the United States helping to raise funds, but also when they leave to go back into those fields. And I believe if we'll do that, God will reward us for doing that. He'll bless us in many, many ways. So today I pray that when the opportunity presents itself, that we will help spread the gospel around this world. Lord, we thank you today for those who you have called into the mission fields that are taking their lives across the countries around the world, putting sometimes their lives in danger and even their families to do that that you've called them to do. God, may we do our part in helping them to have what they need to do that and praying for them and in providing for them. May we help spread the gospel and win people to the Lord around this world today 
Lord, we just praise your wonderful name and ask that you protect them, guide them, and direct their lives. In Jesus' name we pray today. Amen. May God richly bless you today is my prayer.